You know where you are. This is Nollywood Pictures TV. Your Excellency, we're good. And the family? My son? He didn't show up? Oh, so sorry about that. I don't think he's intentional. You know, his schedule is so tight. Is that right? Okay. Okay. My regards to the family. Sure, sure. Thank you. Well, let's speak. They are still seeing each other. I followed him down to the village where he met with her. I was there and uh, later they both drove out. I still followed them up until I lost them. Curse you, please. An old woman, if you threaten her, she might curse you. Oh. Hey. And the target? Taking care of. Virus and harm already went after her. Did, did you send them? This woman. Fire woman. Maybe it's not for tiny. 
Now let's get up. Hey, Mama, why you? Why you? Remain. Okay. Remain there. Right. Don't say anything. Go. There's nothing here. There's nothing here. Okay. Burn this thing down. What? What's it both? Not even a single thing will remain. Let the dead remain buried. Alive, please. We are not dead. No, we are not dead. I know. Go, 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 sent her to an everlasting holiday with the Lucifer. Chapter closed. I like you. Thank you very much. The reason I chose you amongst all for my son. I'm sure you'll make a good wife for him. <laughs> Thank you very much, Ma. You see, I'm very happy to hear this directly from you. My father is doing everything possible to make sure he wins the forthcoming election. And I'm pretty sure that he will triple his efforts, knowing fully well that we both will be walking down the altar. Well, good to hear. You see, Harry is my only son. 
took us a very long time before we had him. I love him so dearly. The reason I want the very best for him. The love I have for my son is so deep that I could take a bullet for him. I'm sure you will love him the same. <laughs> of course, Arima. I see. <laughs> You're welcome to my home. Thank you, ma. <laughs> well, the Wale refuses to come. There's a development, ma. A development? Yeah. Speak. Sahari has been rushed to the hospital. What? Yes. What happened to my son? I just got a call that he has been rushed to the hospital. Which hospital? Get the car ready. Quick. All right. Now. He snuck immediately. He heard about the death of the young maiden he had fallen in love with. And the demolition of her heart. And he hit his head on the ground. I rushed him here. Since then, the doctor had been trying every possible thing to revive him, but to no avail. You look me in the eyes and tell me some fairy tales of the olden days when we are talking about my son's health? My son had fainted because of some girl from the slum and you brought him here to this place? Well, this is the nearest hospital from that village. <laughs> Who is the medical doctor in charge of this hospital? I'm right here, ma. Um, actually... I didn't ask for your explanation. I'm sure you know by now the personality lying right here. My son was brought in here. You willingly accepted. When you know... You've got nothing, absolutely nothing to offer. Ma. I'm not done talking. Pray. Pray that nothing happens to my son because of your incompetency. Should anything happen to my son, I am going to take legal action against you. Not only that, I'll make sure I burn this hospital to dust. Take my son home. Yes, right now. Yes, I'm putting a call to the family doctor. Ma, you don't talk when I am talking. Yeah. yeah. As you go into the world and the rest of the universe will come around into you. Oh, to you, cause you are a star. Yeah. You are the rising sun And you are the moon So don't be afraid My child My precious child Oh, my precious child Oh Gonna be all right, all right, my humble child. Oh, my own. Close eyes, depressed brain stem reflexes, such as pupils not responding to light, not responding to limbs, and not responding to painful stimuli, except reflex or movement. Irregular breathing. These are the common signs and symptoms of a coma. As a matter of fact, a coma is a medical emergency, which if left otherwise, a patient might enter into a vegetative state. In some cases, it might lead to death. Doctor, what are you talking about? My, my son in coma? Nothing should happen to my son. See, 
the elections are around the corner. Nobody should know about his health condition. Tell me, what do we do? Do we fly him abroad for quick recovery? See, my son is going to be the next governor of the state. I don't know if you get it. Madam. So tell him. Madam, we should be more concerned about his life, saving his life, rather than the governorship election. Your son currently is not responding to treatment and is very critical. Like I told you before, if not properly handled, it might lead to a vegetative state. In some cases, it leads to death. Mother, flying him abroad, moving him from one place to the other isn't the best option. Something led to the present condition that he's into. I mean, your son went somewhere. How do you bring those circumstances into play to see if it can aid his recovery? These are the questions before us that requires urgent answers. this Nkem? Or rather, who is this Nkem? I've been practicing for some years now, taking care of patients, especially those in coma. And I must say, this is one of the very unusual cases I've come across. Not responding to treatment is a cause to worry. <sighs> Nevertheless, I have done some series of examinations and this could be intracranial events occurring within the skull. And this includes infection, hemorrhage, brain tumor, and so on and could as well be extracranial, coming from an external event, which reduces oxygen or blood flow to the brain. And some others could be psychiatric induced, mental disorders, which include depression and catatonia. Dr. Steph, you're one of the best doctors in the country. Reasons I employed your services. You see all this you talked about? I don't understand it. I am not into medical, so I, I don't understand your medical terms. All I need is a situation, condition, anyhow, anything you could do to get my son of that condition. My son could not recognize my presence anymore. He neither talks nor eat or do anything on his own. You see, doctor, I am scared. Is this how he is going to continue? What are your findings? Because all these terms you are putting up here, I'm off. I don't get it. I think your son must have landed in the last category of my analysis. Yes, I've had cases like that recently when the patient was totally off for days because of emotional trauma and was only revived with the presence of the partner, a soul connection. No, 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 I'm not really saying this is the actual case here, but I think there is something about this name, Nkem. The only word that ever escaped his lips, triaised and missed his unconsciousness. 
When I heard it first, I thought I was not really sure about it. Not until today. He repeated it twice. And I asked, what is this in Kem? Or who is this in Kem? If it's a person, does anyone know where we can get this person? Or rather, bring the person down to him? Who knows? It could be a gateway to his recovery. Since there's no improvement in his health condition rates, the end of the better. I shot myself in the leg. I ordered her killing. That young maiden called Nkem. Whatever I did, I did for him. Whatever I did, I did for your brother. My son. I wanted the best for him. I thought 
I was doing the right thing for him. Little did I know that I would be shot on the leg with which I walk. I married your late father at a very tender age. It took me several years of pain and childlessness before I heard him. Watched my friends and colleagues carry their first, second, and third children. Yet, I had none. At a point, I, I thought that something was wrong with me because people had started talking. Then he came, carried him for seven months in my womb and gave birth to him and still burned. But then he, he came alive wiped my tears away and gave me hope for future. And I said to him, I want my son to look me in the face and smile to me while I smile back at him and we could be fine again. Where can I see that young maiden? If it will take me or Johnny to the dead, to the grave, to apologize to her, I am willing to do it over and over again. If that is the only solution to my son's health to be stabilized, nothing, nothing can be compared to my son's life. Nothing is worth my son's life. I love him. I love your brother so dearly. I love him. I love him. Standing in the way of destiny. No one has ever done that and returned home with a golden award of honor. Now you wish you could see her and apologize to her if that is the only solution to your son's condition. <laughs> <laughs> 